the Otters welcome to Cal State East Bay to the Kelp Bed for a rare Tuesday night game. And it was another Ryan Nitz extravaganza. Nitz scoring in just about every way possible. Layups, jump shots, three-pointers, you name it. As he goes for a career high, 33 points. The third time in three weeks he scored a career high. And when he wasn't knocking down perimeter jump shots, he was knifing through the defense for easy layups. He didn't just score, he led the Otters in assists as well. Here's a couple of nice passes, one to Julian Decree for a dunk in the first half. And we'll close out with a nice feed to Mateo Jones. This is the Otters win, 81-69. We defended well enough to keep the game tied, and then in the second half we, we took the brakes off a little bit. We got going in transition, we were able to spread them out. We got a lot of easy shots at the rim. Uh, we hit some big threes, and, and we continued to defend, which was the biggest thing, even when we had our little mental meltdown there for about three minutes when they went on that 6-0 run we were still able to get some stops when we needed them and, and so I was I was really proud of tonight's effort I thought we uh, I thought we played really well uh, just being confident just being aggressive uh, like I said before my team has just uh, a lot of confidence in me uh, I have a lot of confidence in myself same thing with the coaching staff and uh, just keep being aggressive even when shots are falling just keep trying to get to the rim as much as I can and we'll take a look at the box score the game was tied at the half. In fact, East Bay led for 15 minutes in the first half, but the Otters scored the first basket of the second half and never looked back. And yes, the Otters scored 81 points, but a nice defensive effort forcing 21 turnovers from the Pioneers on Tuesday night. The Otters ran their win streak in the Kelp Bed to four games. They'll get a chance to make it five games when they host Cal State San Marcos Saturday afternoon. And tonight's spotlight player, senior guard Patrick Lafitte, did a nice job coming off the bench in this one. 